Can you both talk a little bit about getting the roles? I mean, were you fighting hard? Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> we were both fighting really hard. I knew I wanted it. I, I put down a tape for it in November 2013. And I saw that it was, you know, gay love story set in 1976 in Melbourne. And I was like, I have to do this <laughs> film. I have to do this. Like this, this doesn't come out of Australia often. Um, and didn't hear anything for five months. Met with Neil in LA. Loved Neil. I read with Anthony LaPaglia um, and then put yeah. down another tape and then they wanted to see everything I'd ever done. So I was calling up people to try and get shorts that I'd done, you know, 10 years ago or whatever. <laughs> um, and then finally we met in London for a chemistry test. And yeah, as soon as I locked eyes with him, I knew he was the one. Oh, stop it. Keep going. <laughs> I did. I know, really. Like, it was, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stop talking it. shit. Keep like, going. it was, because it, it was just, a, he was just so present, you know, he was such a, you know, you read with actors and often, especially I was living in LA, so I was reading with a lot of, you know, Hollywood actors and, well, not, you know, big Hollywood actors, but actors who've had training, you know, and, and you know, have, the, have it all worked out and they're just not even, they're vacant, you know, they're yeah. not even there with you. And so it was just like, whoa, you're actually here, you know, and, and you're grounded with me in this reality. And yeah, I think we came up to each other afterwards, after the audition, we were just like, oh, God, I hope you I get it, you know. Yeah, it was, it was exactly the same for me. I looked at, uh, but you know, we, we we saw. Well, I think I auditioned 15, 16 times for this wow. role. Like you know, Neil's renowned for the arduous audition process. He wants to get it right. He's de- yeah, he wants to get it right. And, he's de- and it has to, you yeah. know, and his detail-oriented approach. But I was I was so used to the material and the scenes and sort of where I thought the beats were and everything. And when 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 um, Craigie came in in London. It was a completely different dynamic and it was someone actually looking to you and, and, and you started to share a relationship and it's that chemistry, it's that unspoken dialogue that I think was really important to, to, to represent these boys. Yeah, and absolutely. We sort of had that from the get-go. Yeah, yeah. And did you kind of, to build up this chemistry, did you kind of hang out and... Yeah, we went on dates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> couldn't get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> we actually rocked up to, my, to, my, to a, um, a family dinner of mine Having, you know, I hadn't been in a relationship for a while and, and didn't say anything about it and just sort of walked in holding hands and let, let sort of what ensued ensued, you know, mm. just, and that was my real, that was my, I mean, my first experience of prejudice firsthand, you know. Um, People kind not, of avert their eyes. Not for my family, like, but yeah, <laughs> we'd go into a cafe, we'd order a coffee and then we'd hold hands while we are getting it and you'd watch, you'd watch a shift happen and, you know, that was, that was, that was for me really awakening, mm. you, know, I, you know, I've been exposed to gay culture and got up with gay fellows and had gay friends my whole life. My sister is gay, but I never had a first-hand experience of this. And I think that the whole rehearsal process and experiencing that with you and you sharing these things with me and, and you know, your political knowledge and really fed into and in, in, in to help me grow and, and be more understanding as, as, as a person, you know. Um, what else did we do? What else? I mean, we just spent as much time as possible as yeah. we could with each other. We were each other's rock when we were, when we were scared that we weren't getting it right or that when we felt that pressure that it meant so many people. and. You know, as Craig to write, it was we sort of formed the dynamic of Tim and John. Yeah, that's exactly Craig right. Because yeah. yeah. for all intents and purposes, we were as, you know, essentially a couple. We, you know, we mm. were loving and looking after each other and appreciating each other. We were hanging out all the time. We were physically affectionate with each other. You know, pretty much doing everything but have sex, really. Yeah. But we did that on camera, so <laughs> <laughs> in a cock. <laughs> I mean, you talk about the prejudice that you 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 kind of uh, witnessed. I mean, do you think that's an important thing about this film that it's coming out? And obviously. The country's in political turmoil, you know, kind of marriage I'm, equality. I'm not going to go down that road because <laughs> I've, been, I've been getting Game a lot stone. of flack for it. Um, no, I, look, I, I think it's, it's, it's an important time mm. for the film to come out. Yeah. Really, it's a love story. That's what it is. Mm. And, and if it, you know, we want everybody to see this film and, and realise that the love is love, you know. Love doesn't discriminate. Human beings do, but love, love doesn't, you know. You know. Tim uh, was truth at all costs. Yeah. He, uh, you know, was politically active, and in a wonderful way. Hopefully, this film is extending that legacy and what he fought for. It's completely serendipitous at the time of this this timing that the film's coming out. And you know, Kylie, the producer, Kylie Dufresne, spoke really early on about this film sort of telling them when it wanted to be made and it having its own momentum. And so, I think it's you know, this whole f- film is being shrouded in this special sort of quality, and 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 I think you know, it's it's the boys. Giving a little, a little push, and, and you know, smiling down from us up there. I think, I think, you know, it's it's serendipitous, but I think I don't think it's um I don't think it's a fluke. I know Anna, Tim's sister, says you know there's there's a reason that some of these things are happening, and that's the timing is perfect. <laughs> it's amazing. It is. 